everybody. I'm Kendall, the Teen Services Librarian here at the Blue Hill Library, and today we are doing Crafternoons. I really wanted to do something fun and festive for fall, and you know, Halloween's right around the corner, so I thought it'd be cool to do something for that. So today we're going to be making little yarn pumpkins. These are a couple that I made as examples. They're really cute and really simple to make, and I just thought it would be really fun. So, in your craft kits, you should have two balls, little balls of yarn and two pipe cleaners. The only other thing you'll need is a pair of scissors. Everything else you can just do by hand. So, let's get started. I'm gonna take this ring off so it doesn't get tangled up in the yarn. You're gonna wanna take the end of your yarn and wrap it around your hand. So you'll want your four fingers out like this and I like to wrap it so I can pinch the end on the top of my fingers. See how I'm doing that? And then I'll do, we're gonna do this a hundred times to make the right size ball for our yarn pumpkin. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's going to take a little break because I want to remind everybody that you'll want to make this kind of loose so it's not too tight on your hand because you're going to slip it off afterwards so we can make it into our little pumpkin. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so we've wrapped it a hundred times around our hand. And it doesn't really matter how it looks. So if it's a little messy, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna make this more into a ball. So I like to leave a little tail on the end there and you just slip it off your hand and kind of loop it loop your thumb and your finger through so you can hold on to it so you can keep that rounded shape and I leave about this much of a tail and then you're gonna take this tail and pull it through the hole that you have here like this And that will help secure your pumpkin a little bit while you set that down and you'll trim off another small piece of yarn it doesn't even have to be this long I just tend to go a little overboard I tried to make sure that everybody had plenty of yarn to do this part so you'll take your string of yarn that you cut off and you're gonna put this through the hole as well so you can loop it through like this and then you'll tie it just like you would when you're starting to tie your shoes. And I like to do two knots so I can be sure that it's nice and secure and my pumpkin's not going to go, not going to fall apart on me. So I double knot it and then with what's left I will go through the loops again up 
push one through each side. So see how I'm making it as open as I can? I'll push this piece of string that's still left and I'll push that through that side. And then I do the same thing on the other side. So then I can tie it on the other side that's still kind of loose. See, my pumpkin's getting really messy today. But if it is getting messy, we'll be able to fix that. I'll show you how. So you'll double knot that like I did. And then, so see, this kind of just looks like a messy blob right now. But then you'll take this part and you just kind of push and pull the yarn out. So that opening that's still kind of there, you'll push any loose, messy pieces into that inner part of the yarn ball. See how I'm doing that? So I pushed it all in there and then you'll pull over these top parts. We'll do the same thing on the other side. See, these parts are a little messy. So then I'll pull You can kind of pull it outwards to give it more of a pumpkin's shape. I have this one string that does not want to go inside. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be a little different too with every different kind of yarn that you use. So some yarn might be because it's thicker it might form a little better some might be a little bit looser looking that's just the way it is and that's okay if i could get these two little pieces tucked in okay so should be looking a little more pumpkin-y by now Normally, I would cut these strands off. I think I'm going to leave one of them because they look a little bit like a leaf almost. Then you'll take your pipe cleaner and you'll make a hook on the bottom. So it looks like this, like an upside down candy cane. And in the top part where you tied it, it's hard to see, but there's a little loop there. You'll push that through the loop and then wrap it around it so it's attached and I made this pipe cleaner a little longer so I could make it all swirly and give it a really fun stem which you can also do and there you have it a little yarn pumpkin mine's a little disheveled looking because I have this one loose string, but it's simple and easy and fun. And hopefully you guys will have a lot of fun making these. Make sure that you send us pictures because I'd love to see what kind of yarn pumpkins you make um, and how they come out. Thank you so much for coming and doing crafts with me today. It's been really fun and I'm planning another one for next month. So I hope to see you then. If you do want to send pictures in of your yarn pumpkins, you can send them right to my email, which is Kendall, K-E-N-D-A-L-L -L, dot Chapman, C-H-A-P-M-A-N at B-H-P-L dot net. I look forward to seeing how your pumpkins come out and hopefully I'll see you all next month for our next session of Crafternoons. Thanks. Bye.